active on the left flank for ages is going to bring up his upgraded half track with this flat cannon which just destroys infantry and an armoured car of his own I think but uh, predicting that since it's been so long since he has actually attacked on the left flank he's got to have something that he's going to want to try and re like redo a counter attack on so predicting this I made up some basic fortifications I didn't realise he had this much it's a lot of vehicle but luckily for me my anti-tank gun absolutely destroys everything I said it destroys everything wait for it fire at any time we are losing ground I swear it did more this yeah so there you go it bullseyes that armoured car in one hit and that half track suffers a horrible fate from a very lucky shot from my anti-tank cannon from all the way over there which I didn't even realise I positioned it in that way but hey happy days not gonna complain uh, I've got my first stug tank out so I've now got the upper hand we both have the upper hand my Panzer League guy is trying to just repossess this right flank and he's doing it very well with these Hotchkiss tanks um, the sneaky American bastard conquered victory point serves him no point, serves no purpose it's in fortified territory so yeah um, my anti-tank gun even though it successfully destroyed a vehicle for me it's got raped by this marine squad that I didn't see I was kind of focusing on capturing that victory point at the time so I lost my first uh, proper unit but my ally's gonna flank these guys with the Hotchkiss tanks and I'm gonna bring in my Stug <coughs> oh god sore throat um, I'm gonna bring in my Stug which I didn't realize he had this much ready and prepared to counter it with I was kind of unlucky with that realizing I bring up my MP4 force to try and take out this rifle squad and that anti-tank gun as fast as possible luckily for me even though my Stug does nothing it lives by an inch and move all these Hotchkiss tanks scare off everything. I've now also got Propaganda Wall which is a really useful ability and uh, you'll see that come to effect later on. Um, I'm going to repair this Stug um, once I get some more engineers onto the field. Uh, so I'm building some right now to just fix up that gap. I've uh, put a machine gun upgrade now. I can afford to put a proper machine gun upgrade onto this bunker which means I can free up this machine gun squad to use it elsewhere. Meanwhile my ally with his Hotchkiss tanks is just absolutely eradicating these jeeps and or just anything that's standing in his way really he can't do the American player can't do much else uh, this guy has re uh, kind of re enlightened his left flank attack but with really crap shit two engineers in the jeep so we're gonna pin down this jeep very very easily bring uh, a flamethrower squad up to burn uh, the jeep and the engineers oh. so yeah he tries to hide his engineers I'm just gonna bring my flamethrower squad around to scare him off and Bob's your uncle uh, they now have airborne uh, going for our lines but uh, my ally's gonna take care of that airborne squad but you'll see what happens with the airborne later on uh, I'm now gonna build one of the uh, missile uh, things that I hate so much but when using I feel like a badass so I'm not going to complain about that um, and they are very useful but only build them when you've got a fortified position it's always better to get stugs out than them because you need stuff that can counter things like this, this armored car threat my repaired stug is at least able to distract this armored car thanks to the repairs I've got from the engineers even though the stug can't aim for shit and he now has a tank destroyer out which is going to head straight into my uh, anti-tank and it is going to take some damage but the armoured car has ravaged through my lines and he now has made a massive rifle from counter attack which luckily for me fails miserably just because I have a mass amount of flamers to just devastate everything his tank destroyer suffers a very similar fate thanks to my stug I said thanks to my stug there we go so that centre attack failed because of flamers and his armoured car is just there I didn't really do anything about it meanwhile he has a Hotchkiss tank destroying this airborne my ally there so good um, he hasn't done anything with this armoured car which is a bad idea because 
Well, it now serves no purpose. Um, this uh, guy here on the left brings up a rifle squad to attack one of my uh, grenadiers, and I feel like I was going to lose that fight, so I back out and bring up my Stug tank to secretly flank it. Meanwhile, the armored cars got raped by Hotchkiss tanks very badly. <laughs> And back at my base, I'm just building engineers. And another Stug tank. And I'm bringing up my uh, rocket battery so I can put that in a position where it's actually useful. Meanwhile, my Stug is just trying to. Oh, yeah, he's trying to wipe out my anti tank gun. And I know it's kind of a waste of money, but I used a propaganda war because I want to keep this alive. I need my anti tank if the property is alive still. So, I'm just going to scare off that rifleman squad with propaganda war and bring over my Stug to fortify that position. In the centre, my engineers are just holding the line. And my machine gunner finally comes into full use and we devastate this engineer squad trying to cap a point over here. Sported with a flamethrower squad, they haven't got a chance in hell. On the right, my ally has fortified his right flank to crap. He now has a Hetzer tank out, which is devastating against any other tank unit. He has a healing station out. He's got that completely fortified. And I'm just trying to do the same. Um, <laughs> this American guy still has unit, just infantry everywhere, just in annoying places, which is stopping me from just fortifying my position entirely, but I have time to just mess about. I'm not worried. So then the massive counterattack on both flanks here, well, not massive, minor on the left, massive on the right. Airborne squad and riflemen run into my allies. Massive fortifications of Hotchkiss tanks and Panzer Grenadiers. But it's a lost battle. Not airborne and such can't defeat that many Hotchkiss tanks. Supported with that much fire, it's going to be a, a cool looking battle, but it's already lost. The Americans don't have a hope in hell of winning this. They can try, but. Yeah, it's. Over as soon as he begins reading the Hotchkiss tanks devastate the airborne squad from long range so they can't get close enough to throw bombs in and the grenadiers make sure that that position is secured and um, on the left flank now while well, my ally has completely devastated the right flank and has got it completely under his control I'm now gonna try and do that the same over here so I brought up my machine gun crew supported by flamers to hold off this counter attack here works like a charm Although he does have an anti-tank crew, well, two anti-tank crews, which fortunately for me uh, uh, destroyed one of my stugs, I think, earlier on. Yeah, it did. Uh, I'm now going to use my rocket battery, which was kind of pointless, because I would have won this anyway. But it's fun to use rocket batteries. They're so much fun to use. And yep, served no purpose, but I thought it would. I underestimated how weak they were. My ally is also going to do something equal to this. He's going to... Um, start bombarding this enemy base with uh, a salvo of uh, fire missiles as well which I think he gets from a power up from one of the uh, doctrines because he didn't have a rocket battery or anything I'm not entirely sure on what units Panzer Elite can produce yet even though I've used them loads ah that's the one Hotchie's like tanks can fire missiles in and as you watch they just devastate Very badly. <laughs> so good. Um, not much to say. We've secured our uh, secured our flanks. Both of us now. I have a really secured position. We have left the centre exposed, though. I admit to that. I was trying to put tank traps down to make sure that this position just he can't enter again. But he look, unfortunately, for me brings up a crocodile, Sherman. 